Hey, what's going on guys? It's Alex and Coops from Hands Like Houses and we are gonna be your guitar professors <laughs> for Ultimate Guitar Tutorials. Uh, we're gonna play our new single, Monster. Uh, so we'll start off with a full playthrough and then we'll kind of break it down and duel out. Mm -hmm. Check it. Uh, okay, so the song basically revolves around uh, one guitar riff which obviously everyone will learn as we go on. Um, we'll kind of break down a little bit for you. Uh, so I play kind of like the lower part of it, and then Coops gets into the noodle. It goes a little something like this. Um, so that is just, as you can see, on the ninth fret. I oh, also should tell you we are in drop B tuning as well. So if you're playing at home, a couple of steps lower. Um, okay, so you're on the ninth fret, on the lower string, and then there's a bend, a little whirl girdle. You go. I think I played that wrong, but we'll go again. Uh, so it just goes nine, up the octave to nine, bending on that. Seven, back to the nine octave, and back to the low nine. Something like that. On top of that main riff, there's a little harmony on it. More or less the same thing. You're starting on 14th fret on the seventh string. And then down on the seven. Pretty simple. Through the effects on this, I basically have just a little flange, basic delay, and the micropog running through. Uh, nothing too crazy, just the, the pog is the main sort of character to most of my guitar parts on the album and previous albums too. So in the verses both of them are pretty simple, uh, it's a lot of single string guitar, um, so the main rhythm that's kind of like underlying anything and giving the drive, it's just again on the 9, uh, so it just goes... <laughs> And that is just basically nine, going down to the seven, then hammering on back to the nine, and then you go down to five, and then down to two. And that kind of circulates through the whole verse. And then on top of that... Yeah, it comes to about halfway on the first verse, and you're just playing with bend and the octave, so it's... And then it'll trickle down to match the vocal melody. Okay, so then we get to the chorus. Um, so this whole song kind of revolves around a bit of a push, uh, which then sometimes straightens out throughout the song as well. So the chorus combines a push and going straight as well. Um, in terms of the rhythm, I'm just starting on, it's again on the ninth fret, but I'm playing it down here. So you've got two, four, four, up to five, seven, seven, uh, down to a five bar chord, down to a two bar chord. And so those are all just bar chords and the rhythm goes... So every second one, every first one's pushed and every second one's straight. Coops on the other hand. Uh, my one, you got a little bend, you're using the top three strings. Uh, this is, you're on fourth fret on the second string and you're hitting the open on the top string too. And it's sort of like... So it's bending on the four, then doing the double open, and then to twelve, and ten. And then you go to the third string and you go two with the open string and four on the open string. So it goes... And then, <laughs> and then, and then, and then, and uh, then, on the second half of the chorus, there's a little noodle, and you're just matching the vocal melody, so it's a. Uh... Very simple, 14, 
12, 14, 16. So the second verse is very similar to the first verse. I feel like with the knowledge we gave you, with the knowledge we just instilled in you, uh, you'll be able to figure out what's going on in the second verse. Um, the chorus is obviously the same, and then we get to the bridge. Um, so the bridge gets a little bit spacey. It's got obviously like a clean guitar. I kind of used some of the riff that Coops was playing in the chorus um, to ring out over some of the notes. Um, so that's basically just following some of the chorus chords, uh, going from two, four, muted string, five, open. Then you move that all up, uh, three frets, to five, and then all up again to, where are we at, 10. And that's basically it. Uh, the bridge riff is super simple and basic. You're just on the middle two strings, fret nine and fret 11. And you're doing that just that little. And you go down to uh, pull off on the 11 and do double nine. And it creates a nice little atmosphere. And that's more or less the song. Do another chorus and finish off with the riff. The riff is the essential element. Once you've got the riff, then I feel like you're smooth sailing. Yeah. Um, I hope you enjoy it. Yeah, enjoy it. <laughs>